What you're looking at are King Eider Ducks in Flight. Here to tell us all about it, Ottawa's, I would say, leading photographer, but maybe I'm a little biased. <laughs> it's Michelle Thalberg. Thanks again for having us to be oh. a brand new picture collection this Thanks morning. Thanks for coming. No, it's my pleasure. So you've managed to whittle down a selection of 24 photos for the second installment of Arctic Kaleidoscope. Um, is there kind of a theme within the second installment? Not really. It's, it's, again, it's about the people, wildlife, and ever-changing landscapes. So I really wanted to make sure that all of them had about an equal number. So one wasn't more than the other. So that's, a, that's the most important for me. And maybe a little bit of color scheme okay. might, have, might have been happening. Right. There. So you've got color pops kind of yeah. all throughout the room. Yeah. And warm tones, cool tones, that sort of thing. Now you had mentioned that this, this picture in particular has kind of an interesting story behind it. Yeah. We were photographing this bear and I was on the ice and uh, we were watching it run by us. Thankfully it wasn't running at us. It was <laughs> running by. And it wasn't until I looked at the camera after after that I realized that this Arctic mirage was there. We were on the ice, next stop was Greenland. This wasn't even there. So I didn't notice it until I looked on the camera, but this is an Arctic mirage. So they actually exist? They exist. Both in the Arctic and the desert? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it was warming trend and, and, it, and it created this amazing, there was nothing there. And, it, and when you look at it, you can see the irregularities that it, it wouldn't just necessarily make any sense to be a mountain or land or right. an iceberg or whatever. Were, were there more photos than just this one when you went back and looked at them? You yeah. saw there was more to the picture than you had initially thought? Yes, as always. You know, you're not quite sure because everything's happening so quickly. Mm -hmm. Like a walrus with a mother had a, a, had a baby right in its, right in, it, it's swimming. It was coming out of the water and this baby was sitting right there. I had no idea that it was there. I was was just trying to shoot the action so mm -hmm. it's always nice to find those gems amongst uh, amongst the photos because everything happens so quickly when you're photographing wildlife you're not quite sure for sure yeah and you mentioned that okay so you're taking a photo of this polar bear as he thankfully runs by and not at you you've been to the Arctic you said 26 times yes has anything like that ever happened where yes. you, you know, it's kind of a scary moment? Yes, I've been charged by a grizzly bear and a polar bear. Thankfully, I've had Inuit guides with, uh, with guns. No one's ever had to kill a bear or anything, but uh, ground or um, warning shots have had the, to go. To frighten them off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, so, and yeah. that doesn't deter you from going back? No, 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 no. I've never felt, I'm always safe. And yeah, yeah it just, it happens. You're in their habitat. You they know, must know the land like the back of their hand. Yes, they do. Yes. And you feel very comfortable and safe with them. They, mm -hmm. They've lived in this part of the world for many years and much longer than we've been around. It's so easy to get absorbed into Michelle's yeah. stories, your first-hand experiences. You do such a good job of explaining them. And if you would like the opportunity to sit and chat with Michelle, you've got an open house uh, on the 31st? An artist talk on the 31st artist here talk. at Exposure Gallery at Time and Again. And uh, we also have uh, at Winterlude this year at Confederation Park with the Canadian Museum of Nature. We have an outdoor exhibition as well, which is very cool. I'm very excited about having, having that opportunity to showcase the Arctic to so many different visitors that are, are down at Winterlude from all over the world. Mm -hmm. Well, you mentioned it earlier in the morning. I think that a lot of people, myself included, don't really realize what the North has to, to mm -hmm. hold, mm -hmm. the beauty that's hidden within. Why, before we go, has this photo kind of become one of the signature pictures? Well, look at it. Uh, whoever thought. So, uh, <laughs> many, many, many people have asked me if I actually photoshopped that balloon. And I no, yeah, it took 12 days. It took 12 days to get that photo of 60 kilometer hour gusts, a terrible weather. And it wasn't until that one day the western winds came in and blew the back weather out and we were able to experience this amazing photo this was our this was our landscape this was what we stared at when we came out of our tents mm -hmm. so I had worked it with a balloon uh, hot air balloon pilot John Davidson how he was going to launch where he was going to be and I knew that that was the shot that I wanted mm -hmm. so it uh, it is I uh, gotten some attention from National Geo and and a number of different magazines around the world actually a German and a UK magazine have picked it up as well mm -hmm. And uh, the Arctic Kaleidoscope uh, photo, photo photography collection, collection is in the only place that people can see your photos. You've also got a children's book that I think you'll be telling me yes. a little bit about later in the show. Yes, I'm very excited to have my first children's book out. Excellent. Okay, in the meantime, the gallery is now open. It will be here until March. March 5th. Okay, so mm -hmm. you can come by Exposure Gallery here on Wellington Street West and check it out. But stay with us. We've got more to come later on CTV Morning Live.